after the shocking loss in the first leg, Borussia Dortmund were in for an uphill battle today, Lukas Piszczek was back in the starting lineup. The Germans have an unbeaten streak of 38 games with him in the lineup. Gonzalo Castro was moved back to his natural midfield position, meaning Julian Weigel was left on the bench. 18-year-old Don Axel Sakado started in place of Omer Toprak in the middle of the defense. But Chai Kops, Chile and Royce needed to be on top of their game for Dortmund to have a chance at progressing to the next round. Inform Pulisic was unavailable due to a cold. Alperi's starting 11 was exactly the same as it was a week ago, it was the first sellout crowd in Salzburg history. Some nervousness at the back field Sagado led to the first interesting moment in the match. Burki made a shoulder save on Wang's attempt at shipping the ball over him, there was a good tempo to the game, despite the lack of chances. Wang had another attempt at goal in the 22 and minute. This time around, Socrates was the one gifting the ball to the Korean, who couldn't capitalize on the opportunity. Burki made a brilliant stop on Schlager's card low shot in the 32 and minute. Salzburg's energy level and confidence on the pitch was certainly impressive, the Austrians were the better opponent after a third of the second leg had elapsed. It was a good thing for Dortmund that its goalkeeper was a left. The first half ended without a single serious threat on Salzburg's goal, Borussia wasn't nowhere near a comeback, if anything, the hosts should have increased their advantage. Maximilian Philipp and Alexander Isak replaced Mario Götz and Marco Reus at half-time. Socrates received the game's first yellow card for tripping Berisha soon after the restart, Dortmund had to take the game to Salzburg. As a result, the playing field opened up and the German team became vulnerable on the counter. Stodger made his last substitution in the 62 and minute, demonstrating just how unhappy he was with his team. Gonzalo Castro left the pitch, making space for Rafael Guerrero. The yellow and black couldn't get anything going. Gulbrandsen, who had scored four goals in his last four games, came on for Wang in the 66th minute. In the 70th minute, we finally had Dortmund's first real opportunity. Isaac came face to face with Welke and tried to go between his legs, Salzburg's goalkeeper was ready for it. As time was running out, the visitors started peeling on the pressure. Welke made a save on Philip's long-range shot, and then Isaac had another chance from inside the keeper's box. His shot hit the arm of a Salzburg player, but it was attached to his body. Marco Rose made his remaining subs and the game calmed down after that double hit the crossbar in the 92 and minute, it stayed 0 till 0. Salzburg, a team that considered only once in the group stage, kept yet another clean sheet on its way to quarter-final qualification. Borussia Dortmund was simply not good enough, tagged with Salzburg Dortmund 0 till 0.